Yahweh. He is definitely not Yahweh or any author of the New Testament. Yahweh and Jesus are different beings in the New Testament. What, what is the thing? Matthew chapter 15 proves Islam is false religion. Quran is false book. Muhammad is false book. False prophet. And Matthew chapter 15 proves Jesus is Yahweh. According to Matthew chapter 15, Jesus is Yahweh. You know, Paul, by the way, doesn't say that Jesus is equal with God of Israel. Well, he called him Yahweh. So he is definitely not Yahweh or any author of the New Testament. Yahweh and Jesus are different beings in the New Testament. What, what's the latter half of the Philippians poem say? He's honored. He's, a, he's put in a position with Yahweh. That doesn't make him Yahweh. He is definitely not Yahweh. Okay, so Romans 10, when he says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord, what's Paul quoting from Romans 10? What's Paul quoting from? Paul thought Jesus was the Lord, yes. And the Lord is... Look, in, in, in if you think that Jesus was Yahweh, you've committed the heresy called Sabellianism. No, no, no. no. Which was a third century heresy no, no. that said that Jesus and Yahweh were the same being. It was condemned as a heresy in early Christianity, and it continues to be condemned by heresy by every Orthodox Christian on the planet. No, the, the reason why it's not heresy is because Elohim, Jesus is not presented as Elohim, so he said he didn't quote Hebrew. But Jesus, whenever an Old Testament con uh, is being quoted, a verse in the Old Testament is being quoted that has Yahweh in the, in the text, it applies to Jesus. Because All God has given him the name above every name. Okay, so, so God has given him a position equal with himself, but he hasn't made him into Yahweh. Yahweh and Christ cannot be the same being in any theological yeah, well, understanding of the New Testament or later theological developments. They are distinct beings. That's the whole point of the Trinity. They're not the same. No, I think you're misunderstanding how the New Testament writers are using the Old Testament text. See, they're looking at, when they looked at Yahweh from the Old Testament, it was, they were seeing pre-existing Christ. They no, yeah. no. They were Elohim, saying the Elohim, angel of the Lord. The Elohim. angel of the Lord, look. No, that, that's what 1 Corinthians 8, 6 is all about. It is the Shema. In the Shema, what is that? Okay, quote 8, 6, four. Say it. Quote 1 Corinthians 8, 6, four. There is but one God, the Father. There's God, the Father. Right. And? 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 One Lord. There's one Lord. Yeah. And, and what's that? Is that the Shema? Is, is and? It's not that they are the same, it's there's two of them. Two verses, part two verses before that, Paul said, there is for us but one God. And one Lord. No, 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 no. In, in chapter 8, verse 4, he says... All right, look, if you want to say that Jesus is Yahweh, that's fine. I'm just telling I'm, you, it's condemned as an early heresy. All right. That's what Paul says, but... Paul does I, not I say that Jesus is Yahweh. Romans 10, 13, he says, whoever calls the name of the Lord, and he's clearly talking about Jesus, that's quoting Joel 2, 32, in Joel, it is Yahweh who's there. They're saying, Paul the name of the Lord. You show me a place where Paul says Jesus is Yahweh. Well, okay. But we can do My... Uh, my basic case in... Uh, in my book, How Jesus Became God, and that I presented last night, is as follows. Um, I don't think that Jesus himself called himself God during his public ministry. I personally don't think Jesus imagined he was God. He wasn't God. He was God's prophet.